Hi everybody and welcome back. As you would have already guessed from the title of this video, I'll be making some egg and prawn noodles today. This dish also goes by the name prawn chow chow in Goa and it's quite a very simple recipe. So without any further delay, let's get started. So for this recipe, I'm using about 500 grams of French beans and I've got one capsicum or bell pepper. I've used three carrots and I'm using three eggs and I've used medium egg noodles. You can also use spaghetti or any other noodles that you might fancy. And I've also got a handful of prawns and I've marinated the prawns with some ginger garlic paste, some pepper and some salt. And finally I've got five stalks of spring onions finely chopped. So we need to start off by boiling some water in a pot and once our water is boiled we need to add in the noodles. Also at this point I prefer adding in some oil. Now the oil is to prevent the noodles from sticking together and also I like to add in a teaspoon of salt and that is just to enhance the flavours of the noodles while it's cooking. Obviously, we do not want to overcook the noodles. That's the reason we need to keep checking the pot every now and again to make sure that the noodles don't overcook. And once the noodles are done, we can strain the noodles and leave them in a pan and keep them aside. So I like to start off by frying all of the prawns first. Now I fry my prawns until I get that golden yellowish orangish color and that's when I know they're, they're thoroughly done. Now I like to start off with the prawns because that just enhances the flavor of the dish and I try I tend to use as you notice throughout the video that I tend to use just one big pot and that keeps the flavors intact. Now if you're not a huge fan of prawns, you can always substitute the prawns for some shredded chicken and the dish will still taste quite good. Now as you can see, our prawns are nearly done. So at this point, we need to add in our capsicum. And we need to saute the prawns and the capsicum until it's nearly cooked. Okay, now that our capsicum is completely cooked, we can start by adding in the carrots. Now some might prefer boiling the vegetables separately and adding them to the pot. But I personally prefer cooking all the vegetables in one pot. Now the reason I do that is because once you boil the vegetables, you tend to lose a lot of nutrients. And by cooking them all together, you tend to retain most of the nutrients. Hence, I prefer this method. So with our carrot completely done, we can then add in the French beans. Now for those who prefer boiling the French beans, I would suggest that they use or rather add a pinch of baking soda to the pot. By adding baking soda, you make the water slightly alkaline, which is the opposite of acidic. And this preserves a compound called chlorophyll which gives vegetables such as French beans uh, their vibrant green colour. As you would have already noticed, the French beans are quite tender in comparison to the carrots. Therefore, we need to keep checking the dish to make sure that the French beans do not get overcooked. Now, the next step would be to fry the egg. 
Now it would be the same as doing a scrambled egg and by doing it separately in another pan you tend to retain the color of the egg and it also looks a whole lot better as compared to cooking the egg in that same pan with the vegetables. Eggs are a great way, especially scrambled eggs, are a great way to add flavor and protein to our noodles. Once the eggs are completely done, we then can add it to the main dish. Now, the next step would be to add salt. Now, that would be as per your taste or requirement. It definitely feels like we have a lot of stirring to do, but it is very important for the dish but look at the plus side with all the stirring you will have a beautiful and tasty dish and you would have also worked out your course so it's definitely a win-win situation and the final step would be to add the noodles to the rest of your ingredients and give it a good final stir just so all the vegetables the prawns and the eggs are all mixed together so at this stage you can also add in a teaspoon of sugar i've left it out but it's entirely up to each one's preference so my dish is finally ready and this is how it's turned out doesn't it look absolutely gorgeous so this is how i make my version of prawn chow chow so please do give my recipe a try and let me know how it turns out in the comment section below.